Tēnā tato kato. good evening. News Hub can reveal that the government is seeking to extend COVID restriction powers for another two years. It comes as New Zealand appears to be riding another COVID wave with daily case numbers on the rise. Here's how it's tracked since February this year when Omicron took hold with the peaks and the recent trough, but it started to trend upwards again this month. Political editor Jenna Lynch joins us now. And Jenna, what have you been told about this possible extension to the government's COVID powers? Yeah, I've just been leaked documentation, a proposal from the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet, which seeks to extend the powers for another two years. It wants the expiry date of the Act, which underpins all of these COVID restrictions, shifted from May 2023, its due expiry date next year, through to May 2025. And it says that this will ensure that the powers required to respond to COVID-19, including new variants, remain available available to the government. Now, this comes as most countries are winding back their pandemic responses. Australia has just gotten rid of its isolation periods, and you can assume that business will be absolutely fuming about it. We asked the Prime Minister today when restrictions are likely to end. She said she doesn't like to make guesses with COVID-19. She doesn't like to predict COVID-19's behaviour, but she did reiterate that those harsher measures like lockdowns remain off the table. Political editor Jenna Lynch live from Parliament, Tinakwe.